Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken with kumara and mango with rice stick noodle. Let's get on with it. First thing I've got is a nice sweet potato or kumara. I'm just peel that and I'm just going to take the uh, top and the tail off. All right. I'm going to lay down some aluminium foil and lay that uh, kumara or sweet potato on top. And here I've got some cinnamon. And all I'm going to do is sprinkle that over the top. And that gives it a beautiful nice subtle flavor nothing too strong just gives you that nice little funky flavor all you're going to do now is roll that up we've already got our oven sitting at 180 degrees or you could even use the barbecue for this just roll that up like that right, twist the ends very simple wow how hard was that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put that on a tray and i'm going to put that in initially for half an hour but I'm going to get a wooden skewer and check it. And when the wooden skewer just goes through, that is done. And all you need to do is cut that into little cubes. A little bit of uh, peanut oil. One nice big chicken breast goes on top. Now, I'm only cooking this on a sort of low-medium heat. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Just like that. Very easy, this. And we're just going to gently pan fry this for 10 minutes per side initially. Right, so cook that off. And cooking it in the cover like this, it is going to cook it a little bit quicker. Retain some of those juices. Won't dry out as much. Just be careful when you're taking that lid off. Right, so 10 minutes has gone by with a nice golden colour on the bottom. Give it a flip. Put that lid back on. And I'm checking the internal temperature which I want 74 degrees Celsius in the center of that piece of chicken if it takes a little bit longer it takes a little bit longer once you've got that temperature set it aside leave that lid on and then once it's cooled down we can cut it up now here I've got two teaspoons of ginger two teaspoons of garlic paste and that's just a little bit of water in the bottom there and around about the same again of some lemongrass paste and just to give it a nice, good Thai style flavor, a little bit of coriander paste as well. And we're also gonna add in a good couple of tablespoons, maybe a little bit more of tamarind paste concentrate. I'm also gonna add in some fish sauce. I'm gonna add in here around about the equivalent of about three tablespoons. It's gonna be around about that. All right, how easy. All right, give that a good mix very good mix and this is going to be, become part of our marinade there's all our chicken all cut up it's cooled down a little bit i'm just going to pour over all of that beautiful marinade that we just made up and i'm going to let that sit for around about half an hour once i have stirred all that marinade through make sure every piece gets that flavor on there now you could have this just as it is although it would be quite strong but uh, it would give you a good flavor all right Again, about another third of a cup of water goes in. And we're going to do something similar again. We're just going to add in, again, our garlic paste. A good couple of teaspoons of that. And again, with our ginger paste, a good couple of teaspoons of that. Straight into that water. Mm. And again, our lemongrass paste. Straight in like that. Mm. Yum. Very, very simple dish this to do. And there goes our coriander paste as well again about two teaspoons and again about two tablespoons of tamarind paste concentrate gives that a little bit of a mix up there and again we will add in the equivalent to three tablespoons of fish sauce straight in like that all right set that aside now it's time for us to start getting to cook now i've got a mango i've cut two cheeks off it as you can see i'm just running my knife at around about 10 millimeter width slices like that just touching the skin on the bottom and that's going to make it nice and easy for us to cut our mango up into perfect little cubes like that how easy is that right. now i've got some water i'm bringing that up to a boil and i'm going to add my rice stick noodles now cook your rice stick noodles or pad thai style noodle as per the instructions on the back of the packet Right, don't listen to me on this one. I think we cook these for about three minutes. Different brands will have different uh, methods of cooking. They're cooked. You can see that. 
all that starch has come out. I'm going to take those off the heat. I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to leave them in the water just while I do this next section. A little bit of peanut oil goes in the bottom of our wok. All right. And now we're going to add in all of that chicken that we've just had sitting in that marinade. And we've left that sit for about half an hour. All right. That's going to go in. And all we need to do now is re-thermalize that chicken, get a little bit of heat into it, get those flavors happening, and make sure we cut, cook off that marinade. We need to cook off that ginger and we need to cook off the, uh, the garlic. In goes our kumara or sweet potato. That all goes in. Now you need to be nice and gentle here. We don't want to uh, destroy that uh, beautiful vegetable. So use a, uh, a method where you get under the, uh, the mix and turn it over. We can now add our noodle in. And once again, we'll use that same method of stirring. I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of white pepper, like that, yum. Now, a little bit of sesame oil, around about two teaspoons. That's gonna give it a nice, smokiness to it and once again as I said be nice and careful just mixing this through we don't want to destroy the noodle we don't want to destroy that beautiful beautiful orange vegetable here's the rest of that sauce that we just made up now I'm just going to simply pour that over the top just like that and that's going to soak into those noodles and soak into that sweet potato or the kumara very very easy to do this dish very simple and quite refreshing as well. And then even the next day, it tastes amazing. I'm gonna add in three spring onions, which I've very finely sliced. All right, just like that. And very, very last thing we do is add our mango in. We wanna add this at the very last point, just before we serve up. All right, how easy has this one been to make? Serve it up simply like that, and a little bit of uh, fried shallot over the top, just to give it that little bit of a crunch. Let's see you try and make this one at home. It tastes really, really nice. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. Should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to share this video with uh, all your friends on all platforms of social media. Don't forget to hit that uh, the uh, notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. But more importantly, I want you to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I'm gonna go eat my uh, chicken, kamara, mango, noodles. I will catch you next time. Bye.